Hello wonderful people, welcome back again to Anointed Lady TV, the home of news and politics. And we drop news every day and we also react to every videos that comes our way. If it is your first time in this channel, you are highly welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you are returning subscribers, we appreciate you for your massive support. And we say may God richly bless you all for supporting this channel. And if you haven't subscribed, please kindly smash on the subscribe button. Put on the bell so you get to know anytime we drop a new video. I have a video to present to you this very moment and I will be watching that video with you. And after watching, let's drop our opinion constructively at the comment section. Like our videos and also share our videos if possible. Bye for now. Hello Mel, hello Mel, hello Mel. Someone should please help me and confirm this thing that I want to say. I have been on free mood. I don't know what is even happening around me. I heard that the president of Nigeria, the number one citizen of the country, the president of the most populous nation in Africa, went to Imo State to commission a project and everybody ran away. I even heard that the banks did not open. Filling stations did not open. School children were not going. The state was deserted. This is unbelievable. How true is this thing? This is, this is not a small case, so that the president of a whole nation came to the state and instead of the state to welcome him, everybody went into hiding. Okay, no, some were not here. You people left only hope for them to go to San Mombaque Airport to receive the president of Nigeria. Hey, no, this must be a trying time for hope for them. Only hope most of them went to Imo, uh, Imo Airport to retrieve the president of Nigeria. Poor hope. He did not have any other option other than to call uh, Aboki people that are selling carrot and sugar cane to at least welcome the president. So, carrot sellers that are not indigenous people welcomed the president of a country in Imo State. This must be a trying time for hope. Please, anybody that see hope, please read. Reach out, reach out, reach out. Hope must be feeling so bad. What did the hope do to you people to deserve this kind of thing? So only hope most of them was left to his own fate. I heard that the state was deserted. Not even the sound of bed was heard. Not only him state, any good state joined in this state at home. Anambara, Ebony, and uh, Abia State. You saw your president, and all of you were running away. Did you see a spirit? Why were you running away? The only time that I know that if you see somebody and run away is when you see somebody that have mouth order or body order. And also, for you to run away, there must be a tangible reason. It's either because when a visitor comes to a land and everybody's running away, maybe the person is a masquerade, or maybe the person has committed a lot of atrocities. Or maybe the person have epilepsy, now or the person have a benta, now leprosy. This is the only time you will see somebody and run away. What is pursuing you people? You saw your president and you went into hiding. This is serious. Please check up on hope. Hope will not forgive you people for doing this to him. What did hope do to you people to deserve this kind of treatment? He will never forget this thing. No, hope will not forget this kind of treatment. Do you know what it means for a sitting governor to stay only for him to welcome his president alone? Child, Ndimo State, you people, this kind of power have never seen it before. Because when Jonathan, as the president of Nigeria, came to Imo State and Obasanjo, when Obasanjo was the president of Nigeria, they came to Imo State. When they came, women, our mothers, Igbo women were tied in beautiful Igbo rappers, dancing and chanting victorious songs. The children were playing songs, singing. Our fathers were playing drums. There was happiness in the air, massive crowd. You know that when a president is visiting a state, there is always massive crowd, big crowd. That is what is expected. But nothing like that. Just like when Jesus Christ was passing in Jerusalem, there was serious crowd. But not even, no, no, they said the bank did not even open. 
State was deserted like a cemetery. Hey, this is a big, this is a big blow. Please check up on Hope. Check if I can be feeling like this. Who know the situation Hope is in now? Hope must be in a very, very bad condition. Because if this is true, this is the highest disgrace of our time. The highest embarrassment of all embarrassment. This embarrassment, this, this disgrace will never be forgotten from generation to generation. It's like a stain permanently. People will be remembering it. Even our children will use it and do projects. That the president of a country visited the state. And the people that have the state, the owners of the state, ran away. Oh boy. This one allowed though. Child, please check up a hope. Karobi, oh. Karobi, take heart. I know how you must be feeling. And I know you will not forgive these people. This kind of hope will not forget in his life. This is the highest blow that anybody can give to anybody. Child, I even heard that BBC Igbo, because of the weight of this embarrassment, BBC Igbo and BBC Pigeon had to go online and download the pictures of NSAS protest. You know, during NSAS protest, there was massive crowd. BBC Igbo downloaded these pictures and pasted on their Facebook page so that the international community will not ask, why is there no crowd in the state where the president of Nigeria visited? All these things just to hide shame. Child, so it has gotten to this level. This is really painful. This must be a very painful situation for them. Child. Oh, Ndimo. I even heard the person said that it is Gota that Buhari came to commission in Imo State. I don't believe that one. That one is propaganda. That is Gota. How is it Gota? How is it Gota? I don't believe that one. Because I know that for a president to leave Abuja to come to Imo State, it must be a massive project. Something like underground tunnel where cars will be going from up, from down to up, just to reduce uh, traffic in the state. I told the person that this must be underground tunnel where cars is passing, not water. But if I'm wrong, you can still show me the pictures of the gutter. They said it's the it's gutter that the president came to commission. I know that it must be tunnel, underground tunnel, just like the ones in Dubai and in America. That is what I believe. And this transit that I'm hearing, this transit flying around, I was, I'm hearing Bongo trouser. Who is the owner of the trouser? Who is the owner of the shoe? Is it all both of them are shoe or all both of them are trousers? Or they are bokeh trouser? Please, these trousers that is flying up and down, were they sharing trousers on that day? What about this trouser news? Please give me updates. This data that I don't have has really done me a lot of things. It will never be well with free mood. And you that is my friend, you can't give me update of what is going on in the country. Ha, this is painful. And they said that the leadership of IPOP have taken over the Southeast. And Indi will unanimously said that they will never listen to any Southeast governor again. That they are only loyal to IPOP leadership. Under the leadership of Nam Dikano. Nam Dikano being the leader of IPOP, that they will only obey him. That they have given up on the Southeast governors. That our names in Dibu, as far as they are concerned, are useless in Dibu. Please, how truth is this news? That our names in Dibu are now useless. That nobody, they will never say anything and anybody will listen to them. So these governors are powerless now. Please, hug these governors. They must be passing through. For IPOB to be treating these governors like this, this must be a trying time for them. How can they take charge of their state? Even these governors now are now helpless and hopeless. To the level now that... They had to tell banks that are closing that if they dare close their banks again, they will seal it up for life, child. So it has gotten like this. These governors are helpless now. This is a serious matter that a government, a, gov a president came to a state and nobody welcomed him. This is a serious issue. It's a serious issue. Because for this thing to happen, that means the land is angry. The land is angry. I'm telling you, we should not take this topic for granted. It's a serious topic to discuss. That IPOB is now in charge. Now they can in prison. Yard is making decisions, taking laws, making telling the people in the east what will happen in Imo State, Abia State, Enugu, Anambra, and Ebony. This is a serious blow. This is defeat. IPOB 100, the state government is zero. This is defeat. It is finished. IPOB have taken the crown. Eh? That IPOB is in charge of the southeast. You people don't even understand this thing the way I'm understanding it. 
that when they say shut down, everybody shut down. When they tell people stand, they stand. When the governors give order, nobody will obey. Tie these governors. They, please, you people should be, these governors will be feeling depressed by now. These governors should not commit suicide though. They should not commit suicide though, because the way you people are going, this is really embarrassment though. It's really embarrassing you know, that the governor doesn't make law in his state again though. Please. Hmm. And I even heard that this IPOP, that the IPOB said they have not even started. That this is testing the waters. That this lockdown is, is just number one. They have not started. By the time they unleash the main one, that they will know. So that means we should follow who no road. Hey. IPOB is indeed powerful. This thing, this data that I don't have may not be well with you. This is a serious thing. President standing alone. Nobody is welcoming him. Nobody, street empty, road deserted, child. Oh, oh, Poza Demma, please check, check BP. Very important. The BP must be number one thing to check. Please leave every other thing you are doing. BP is number one, very important. And the other governors, check their BP. For somebody to hijack your state and you are not doing anything, you are hopeless. You can't even say anything, child. Because without the people, you cannot be a governor now. It will very painful, child. Oh, and listen, Dibu, I don't know, B.O. It is well. It is well. You people should take heart. I know how you people are feeling now. Just take heart. Take heart, Kadunobi. Oh, my condolence to you people. I know how painful it is that you people are now powerless, hopeless, and almost useless. Nobody listen to you people again, child. If not IPOB, the leadership of IPOB taking charge. Oh, take heart. Tell them to take heart. Please hug them anywhere you see them. Hug them, child. Alumel. Alumel, alumel, alumel. So painful. Alumen.